Just trying to find any way you can to be a better teammate, be a better leader. You know, everybody just trying to work as hard as they can to get a win when you come up short. I mean, yeah, it sucks. But at the end of the day, we still got two more games and you know we gotta come back to them, you know, figure out a way. Welcome to the Bet MGM studio and the Mike Vrabel show presented by Shift 4. The Titans play two nights from now against the Dallas Cowboys at Nissan Stadium. So obviously Mike Vrabel is preparing with his staff and his team. His stand in tonight, another coach from Titans Radio, Coach Dave McGinnis. Welcome. It's great to be here, Mike. Uh, get the team ready. I'm here to help however I can. So let's go. Let's go. And how hard is it to get ready for a Thursday night game this late in the season? Well, I mean, it's different, but Mike Vrabel is very good with altered schedules. We've seen throughout his tenure here as a head coach, he understands the altered schedule. And the thing about players in this league is, Mike, if you give them the schedule early enough and they understand where they're supposed to be, when they're supposed to be, then they're fine. The thing you don't ever want to do with an altered schedule is surprise players about what's coming up, when it comes up. He lays out the schedule for them a long time in advance. Now, you have to adjust it some depending on who you've got healthy, who you don't, but at least they have something they can look at, they can prepare for, so he's really good at that. The Titans will actually be playing on five days rest because they took on Houston on Saturday, so they do get one extra day. Let's take a look now at the Mike Vrabel six-pack, or I should say the Coach Mack six-pack on the Mike Vrabel show. Six of the best plays from Saturday's game. Hey, let's start with the first one. How about a Derrick Henry touchdown run? Got 13 on the year. This one came from 48 yards, Coach. Yeah, no, this was a, this was a counter O out of a shotgun formation. Really nice job by the center and the guard, or the guard and the tackle pulling from the left side. And then the right side was completely caved down. And then Derrick Henry stepped out of one tackle, made the safety Petrie miss, who's an excellent tackler, by the way, in his rookie season, and then hit the accelerator for a 48-yard touchdown. This was classic. Blocking up front, and this is classic Derrick Henry run. You try to get him to that position where he can be one-on-one -on -one with a defensive back, and then he has to win. Well, we always talk about getting him to his fourth step, and his fourth step, and they, and they employed the counter OT look, which blocks down the front side, pulls the guard and the tackle from the back side, confuses the eye reads for the linebackers at the second level, and then Derrick Henry, you get him one-on-one, -on -one, he's going to win most of them. Titans played good run defense in the game. Only 70 yards rushing on 30 tries for the Texans. Let's take a look at this second quarter play from Demarcus Walker. Well, th this is just an absolutely great job. This is penetration. Penetration by defensive front, Mike, kills any type of run game you want to you wanna put up, present to a defense. The thing that I like about this is, is they were taking shots at the runner. We talk about getting to the fourth step. He never got to his first step. And that's what you got to have. When you can take shots at the runner like this and then get roll call to the ball like you see there, all the players you see around that football, that's what you want. If you like that one, you'll like this one even better. Early in the third quarter, we see Houston with a fourth and one play. They put Jeff Driscoll in at quarterback. Put Jeff Driscoll in, ran a, ran a receiver across to make it three by one. You got a nub side tight end on the backside. The great thing about this is, this is a great mesh point play, Reed, and come back outside. And then what happens, Danico Autry, this is a classic. Two-hand jab, get somebody off of you, and then watch him collapse on the ball. This is a perfect vice tackle right here. Big fourth down stop. Kalu is in there along with Lonnie Johnson. The Titans get the ball at their own 48 after this, and some determined running by Derrick Henry, by Traylon Burks, and then by Malik Willis gets the Titans home for six. This is the same type of play, Mike, that you just saw Derrick Henry go with 48 yards on. Watch everybody in the, on the linebacker spot for the Texans. Takes the fake. Everybody comes 
to Henry. Everybody's on Henry like goldfish to food in a bowl. I mean, they're all on top of it. And Malik Willis does a nice job. He's a strong runner, makes a spin move, and then Roos helps him in gently, helps him <laughs> into the end zone with a nice spin. This was a team effort touchdown for Malik Willis's first NFL touchdown. Yeah, he had some good runs in the ball game. Seven carries for 43 yards. Let's take a look at a little defense that followed by a rookie linebacker by the name of Jack Gibbons. He gets the stat, but several defensive players made play. Three by one, look, the single receiver on the backside. Davis Mills, the quarterback, he looks to the three receiver side first. Great, great play by Avery over there, punching this ball out. But Jack Gibbons, they're playing zone defense. He's on the backside with his drop, but he gets an excellent directional delivery key on the ball and always run to the ball. In zone defense, that's the advantage. You've got all eyes on the ball. Jack Gibbons ran to the football, and it ended up right where it needed to be for a great interception for him. Jack Gibbons finishes the game with seven total tackles for the Titans, also finishing with seven tackles, seven quarterback pressures, Tackles for loss and more, including a sack. Here's Danico Autry. Yeah, Danico Autry being back is huge. You can just see he, he's he's a he's he's a disruptor. He's a huge disruptor for any offense that we're playing. His presence and he brings energy to this defense. He can play multiple spots. Great to see Danico Autry back on the field for the Titans defense. Danico Autry now leads the Tennessee Titans with eight sacks. Jeffrey Simmons has seven and a half. Demarcus Walker has six and a half. When we come back with more of the Mike Vrabel Show presented by Shift 4, it's Epic Western's Genuine Titan, and it's somebody who's with us almost every single week. That's next on the Mike Vrabel Show. Welcome back to the Mike Vrabel Show presented by Shift 4. What's the number one question that I get about this show? What is Mike Vrabel really like? So in this week's Epic Western Genuine Titan, we decided to answer that question. With Mike Vrabel, what you see is exactly what you get. He is tough. He is sarcastic. Okay, listen to me. We're going like a minute in between plays. So we're going to have to go a hell of a lot harder than that. He is very funny. He is unafraid. Mike can be grumpy, yes. Let's go, special teams jog through. Gunners, you're over there. You're not a gunner. 465 is not gunner material. Go win a job, man. But he can also be encouraging. Good ball. Good ball, Malik. Oh, good ball. He's not easy, that's true but it's not because he is unrealistic. He wants your best. He believes that he can get it out of everyone. When I was walking downfield, that was my guy that came across. Okay, then what'd you do? You ran like hell and made up for it. Like, we're gonna make mistakes, like, whatever. That's a great job, dude. That's how you protect the guy with the ball. Mike Frable is not a bully in the least. He only gives the business to people who can take it, and it's never personal. I wish to, <laughs> I wish to, wash. Wish to wash my Irish wristwatch. <laughs> they get it? Yeah. Finally. Say it faster. I wish to. No. <laughs> I will not. He has a massive heart, but he really doesn't want you to know that. Never seen anything like it. I've never seen anything like it. I've never seen anything like it. I love you like my, oh, you hear me? I mean, I've never seen anything like it. He loves his family. He loves his friends. He loves the guys on his team. Mike Vrabel is smart. He is curious. He is constantly challenging himself to learn. He expects the same things from himself that he does from his players and coach. So what is Mike Vrabel like? He's exactly the guy that you would expect because he is 100% real, a genuine Titan like no other. That's the Mike Vrabel we know in anything that we do. And Coach Mack, you've been with him for five years since he's been here. You've been around a lot of great coaches in the league. When you're going through a tough time, that's the kind of guy you want to have here. Well, I mean, look, I'm a lifetime NFL coach. That's a real ball coach. And, and he's, Mike Vrabel is really good at real football. 
and he's good because he's really good with people. I broke into this league with Mike Ditka. A lot of the same persona. Everybody would think this is a gruff dude that is just all meanness. No, he cared a lot about people. But players respect him, and they respect Mike Vrabel immensely. This guy is one heck of a football coach. I really enjoy him. I enjoy being, I enjoyed meeting him, and I enjoy being able to say he's my friend. And he's also a really good football coach. Our genuine Titan tonight, the namesake of this show, Mike Vrabel. When we come back, we look ahead to Thursday night and know your foe. Coach Mack knows him. He's going to tell you about it. On the Mike Vrabel Show, presented by Shift 4, next. Glad to have you with us in the Bet MGM studio, the Mike Vrabel Show, presented by Shift 4. Sitting in for the coach tonight, Coach Dave McGinnis, because the Titans play Thursday night against the 11-4 Dallas Cowboys, and that leads us straight into Know Your Foe. The Cowboys coming off a big win over the Philadelphia Eagles, 40-34. to Let's start with the quarterback, Dak Prescott. Yeah, well, Dak is it, it really, in the latter part of this season, has really started playing well. He's got some weapons. Talk about C.D. Lamb. C.D. Lamb is somebody that, that gives everybody problems. But Dak Prescott, a big, strong quarterback, is a guy that can throw off blockers when they come into him. And plus, he's done a nice job since he's been in the league, really perfecting his progression reads. Uh, he's the leader of this offense. Yeah, they've certainly got some weapons. You just saw T.Y. Hilton make a catch. He's just joined him, and Dak is a big guy who can run. Speaking of running, the two-headed monster at tailback, Zeke Elliott and Tony Pollard. Yeah, this is going to be very, very important to be gap sound and physical against these guys. You know, Zeke is the guy that they lean on, but Pollard, Pollard is a real great addition to this running game. Pollard has got speed. He's also a very, very strong contact balance runner. Both of these guys, this two-headed running attack, Mike, is going to be a big, big issue if you're not gap sound and you don't group tackle. And they run every play with both backs. Absolutely, they do. And they just get their, their people on the field. And what they do with these two backs is they can both really take it the distance, either one of them. But when Pollard has the football, you better catch him before he gets started. All right, let's turn to defense and the unbelievable Micah Parsons. Last year as a rookie, 13 sacks. This year, 13 quarterback sacks. And the guy can play all over the field. Yeah, well, Michael Parsons coming out of Penn State was somebody that everybody was vetting at the combine. And the question was, where do you play him? Where do you play him? Do you stand him up behind the line? Do you stand him up outside? The answer to that question, you play him everywhere. This guy is very, very physical. He's a really blessed athlete, Mike. Extreme, extreme athletic ability. He's a guy you've got to get a hat on no matter what you're doing. The Dallas Cowboys have players all over the field, and that's going to be the challenge Thursday night because they need to win this game if they're going to keep pace in the NFC East with the Philadelphia Eagles. When the Mike Vrabel Show returns, you'll meet our Wesley Mortgage Community Hero. This is very special. You won't want to miss it. Stay tuned. Welcome back to the Mike Vrabel Show presented by Shift 4. In 1988, Joyce Watkins was convicted of a horrible crime that she did not commit and spent 27 years in prison. Earlier this year, she was exonerated, becoming the first African-American woman in Tennessee to be released from prison after it was learned that she did not commit this crime. She's this week's Wesley Mortgage Community Hero. Let's hear her story. Hey. Good morning. <laughs> good morning. Hey, Jason. How are you? I'm good. We got a surprise for you. Dear Joyce, the Tennessee Innocence Project is honored to nominate you as West the Wesley Morgan Mortgage Community, Community Hero. Hero, as the first and only African American woman ever exonerated in the state of Tennessee. Your heartbreaking story of strength and perseverance is something everyone needs to hear. In 1988, you were wrongly convicted of a murder you did not commit. You spent 27 years locked up behind bars, fighting to prove your innocence. Earlier this year, the truth prevailed. A Nashville judge heard the medical evidence, which definitively proved you did nothing wrong. The charges against you were dismissed, and you were released from all the conditions of your life sentence. 
George, your story gives hope and inspiration to all the other innocent people in prison. You lead a life of grace and forgiveness, despite the three decades that were wrongly taken from you. It is a joy to know you and a gift to be part of this journey with you. Congratulations on this honor. Your family at the Tennessee Innocent Project. Oh, God. Thank you. This is an award that the Titans do. These are 14 tickets to the Christmas Eve Titans game, and they're gonna play your story and show it to the crowd that night during the game on the big screen. You only need to spend about two minutes with Joyce to realize that there is no way that Joyce committed the crime that she was convicted of. There is no better gift in life than helping someone get their life back. Look, it, it, was, it was a great day of celebration. You know, it's bittersweet because uh, you can't fix what happened, right? There, there's no justice for what was taken from her. But that doesn't mean we can't celebrate her and we can't celebrate her exoneration. And the fact that the world now knows her story and, and knows that what happened to her was wrong. I always knew that one day I would get out. When, I didn't know. But I always had that feeling that one day I would get out and I would pray and ask God to send somebody, put somebody in my life to help me prove my innocence. And it too came to pass. Oh, I thank the Western Morgan and the Tennessee Titans very, very much. I wanted to go to a game, but I never got there, but I get there now. You made the rest of this year good. So as you heard in that story, the Titans had her at the Christmas Eve game. And as mentioned, the Titans recognized her at the game. But the surprises continued. You take a look at it as we go to break on the Mike Vrabel Show. Twenty twenty two Inspire Change Changemaker Award winner and you are going to the Super Bowl! It means a lot to me. It means an awful lot to me. And I appreciate everything they did for me. And the Tennessee Innocent Project is a good organization. This is something that I always wish for. And I am so grateful and so thankful. Back at the Bet MGM studio, Mike Vrabel show presented by Shift 4. Coach Dave McGinnis sitting in for the head coach because in 48 hours, the Tennessee Titans will be on the field against the Dallas Cowboys. Time for our Nissan keys to success. And key number one, I, I mean, it's pretty simple. Eliminate the unforced errors on both sides of the ball. Yeah, Mike, it's hard to win a National Football League game, no matter when you're playing them, Sunday, Thursday, Monday, whenever. But you can't help your opponent. And unforced errors have hurt the Titans lately. And unforced errors, I'm talking about misaligning, jumping off sides, aligning on sides. Those are things you can control. Just let's eliminate those unforced errors. It gives you a step up on your opponent. All right. Key number two in the Nissan Keys to Success ball security against the Dallas defense. They've got some guys who can take it away. Yeah, well, we just talked about Micah Parsons, and he's just one of many. They can really they rally to the football very hard. Turnovers are really a, a determining factor in most NFL games, and you just cannot afford to let this defense get after you with loose ball security. So who's ever carrying the football? You're running it. You've caught it. If you've got it on a punt, you got it on a kickoff, Secure the football against this group because they go after the football very hard. And they run the football with Ezekiel Elliott and Tony Pollard. So you've got to be gap sound on defense against their run game. Yeah, and the Titans have played really good run defense this year. They really have. But that takes a lot of discipline. Playing the run in the National Football League takes a lot of discipline, and it takes extreme effort every play. You know, we always used to say, you know, when you start uh, playing defense in this league, you earn the right to rush a passer by stopping the run. This two-headed running group that they've got, these, these two guys that they've got running the football, they're going to test this run defense. We need to be gap sound, and we need to be gang tackling. 
Coach Mack, thank you for being here. Oh, it's my pleasure, Mike Keith. We appreciate you thank sitting you. in for Coach Mike Vrabel. I will be joined by Coach Mack Thursday night on Titans Radio, 104.5 The Zone in Nashville. For Titans, Cowboys, our coverage begins at 6 p.m., kickoff at 7.15. For Coach Dave McGinnis and our fine crew, Mike Keith says thanks for watching The Mike Vrabel Show. Nashville's a top five city in America in terms of chef-driven restaurants. It's always a tremendous honor to be able to represent the city. Nashville's freaking amazing. Hey, it's Matt Moore. Be sure to check out Taste of Tennessee exclusively on LG channels and LG OLED TVs.